Northampton has a reputation for supporting all of its residents, something you can see in action at Mana Community Kitchen. For 35 years, they've been feeding people in need, and those who devote their time to this nonprofit say it's about more than what goes on the plate. When you come to our kitchen as a guest or as a volunteer, you have to have fun and you have to have been fed. Lee Anderson is a big part of making those things happen. He's lead cook here. Today we're having green bean casserole, baked potatoes, which are a fan favorite of ours. Like we roll the baked potatoes in olive oil and we're having New York strip roasts and a gorgonzola butter. Mana Community Kitchen offers free meals six times a week. In a month, they'll make and serve 7,000 meals. Today, they're working out of their main kitchen at St. John's Church on Elm Street. Development director, Caitlin Ferrari, says the name Community Kitchen has an important meaning. We encourage anyone to come and grab a meal with us. So if we can provide something that is hot, healthy, and tastes really good, then we feel like we've done a good job. When Anderson started leading the kitchen, he designed more ambitious menus, thinking of both the guests and the volunteers. You shouldn't just get an okay meal here. We should be able to give you a meal that you would be downtown buying in a restaurant too. Mana has about 150 volunteers, including Ed Pilis and Lydia Saro. Certainly we're providing physical nourishment. There's an emotional hunger being satisfied as well. Just the energy of the place is amazing. It's my favorite day of the week is Tuesdays coming to Mana. Anderson remembers when he first understood the power of a shared meal. When I sat with people and ate was when it changed for me. I realized that food breaks down some barriers. Those who work with Mana say there is a deep sense of community here, and that's a feeling common throughout this diverse city. It is a place that cares so much about everyone in our community. People seem to come to this area to really be themselves. Everyone appreciates what a special place it is, and we kind of give it our all to keep it that way. There's just something in the air out here. And Mana Community Kitchen also raised, operates a community center out of the basement of St. John's. Right, guests who are experiencing homelessness can use the place to take a shower, have a little rest, a place to stay warm, use Wi-Fi, do laundry, all that stuff. That's Chronicle for tonight. Thanks so much for joining us, everyone. I'm Anthony Everett. And I'm Shana Seymour. Have a great evening. We'll see you back here tomorrow night. Good night.